Hey yo, welcome to my channel, WinDev. So today we're gonna be doing project number five called Shopping Cart, okay? We're gonna be using JavaScript only and let's get started. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to define a cart, okay? Const shopping cart need to be empty empty array shopping cart gonna be empty so items and it's gonna be an empty array we want to store stuff and we want to have methods method like add item and then we want to do name, price, and quantity. Quantity, we want to set it to one. And we want to check if the item already exists in the cart before we add them, you know. Yeah, before we add them, let's go ahead and do, let's check, const existing item, we want to say this dot items refers to this right here, okay, find item, item dot name equals to the name we put something like that right and we want to check if existing item if it's true right we want to do existing item dot quantity plus the equals to quantity we want to increase it all right and then else we want to do this dot items dot push I want to push the name price and quantity cool and what does it say right here expected something right and then we can do and then we want to console dot log we want the name added to the cart. Okay. Keep it simple like that. Add item. Oh yeah. Do that. And then over here we're gonna do remove item. Item name the name right the item and we want to filter this now this dot items equals this dot items dot filter and item item dot name we want to remove it okay that's how we do it cool Oh yeah, do this. That's it. Very simple, right? And we can go ahead and do a console dialog. We wanna tell the user what's happening. Okay, if you don't do this, it's not gonna work. And we wanna say name removed from the card. So they know what's going on. It will work, but you gotta update people you know so update quantity or name new quantity uh, we want const item equals this the items dot find item item dot name equals 
name. Okay, well, we found that item then. That means we found the item and we want to check if if item if so we will find it or the item dot quantity quantity set it to the new quantity which come from this right here right and we want to to console console dot log wanna update the user again the name quantity updated to the to new quantity makes sense all right and excuse me else on a console dot log name is not in the cart cool and then next one we want to calculate the total right calculate you late total and we want to do return this dot items the items dot reduce remember the reduce we want two arguments which is total and item what total plus item dot price times quantity item dot quantity and then set it to zero first okay that's how it is that's how we calculate total and then display card we want to display card and want to see if this the items this the items the length is equal to zero that means we don't have anything there the card the card is empty right empty else what do we want to do we want to console the log shopping cart and we want to do this the items we want to loop through the items for each and want to display them item with an index okay place of the items when a console dot log te literal template and we want to do in index plus one and then item dot name and then we do item the price we're gonna see it times item the quantity then equals item the price times item the quantity okay awesome and then we're just gonna console the log You say total uh, this dot calculate total. Okay, we want to call that cool. All right, let's see what we got. Awesome. And now we want to see what's going to happen. Let's see, nothing happens yet because we haven't called anything yet. All right, down here we want to add some item, okay? Shopping cart, and this is um, treated like an object, right? Inside of these are like methods, different methods we have. So we wanna call one, we're gonna call the add item, 
and it takes in the parameter right so it takes in the name the price and quantity if we don't add any quantity it would automatically set to one so that's default all right and do mm, banana okay and the price price is let's do like two dollars right and then I want to do two bananas <laughs> I think it's too expensive let's just do 50 cents two dollars and then we just want to add one item and then we want to display the display cart let's see what we got okay banana added to the cart shopping cart one banana right at 50 cents times two that is one so our total is one all right now what if we want to update the quantity okay shopping cart dot update quantity we want to search up let's do banana but try it with lowercase see if it will take care of this i don't think so so let's do four banana is not in the cart because we have a lower cart lower number right let's do that now we got the quantity okay and let's just display it again there we go we got two dollars now so the reason why it's not accepting the lowercase is because we haven't set that here yet okay let me expand this a little bit let's look at this update quantity right find the item dot name equals name <laughs> all right how do we do this so in order to fix this we can maybe do this right dot to uh, something like dot to lowercase or something but we want to take the name first so um, lower case name and equals name dot to lower case but would that work and we can do lowercase name but this gotta be lowercase as well never mind <laughs> all right that's one of the other things we can do is try to make this a to lowercase so that it doesn't base off of what user put in right it doesn't matter if they're capitalized or not so try to make that work but yes overall this is what we have but let's try the remove we want to remove item what does it want it just wants the name right it's gonna filter it out let's go ahead and do remove item banana what is it gonna say banana remove from the card and let's do this yeah it doesn't even have banana so okay there we go and let's see all right it is empty so guys yes try to figure that out mm, the the name especially right the name how do we capitalize it let's let's find out <coughs> all right in order to change the name to be capital uh in you know not a k case sensitive we can do something like this all right name let's do const um standard standard mm, Standard, standard 
resized name want to make sure it's name that to lowercase so I did it right right to lowercase all right and then we want the name to be standardized okay name now we got to set this everywhere right when we add the item the name here want to set the value to a standardized name it's gonna push it over there now over here remove item needs to be like that too and then standardize name and standardize name right here to standardize name Uh, we don't even need to do standardized name over there okay but right here we do okay oh let's do to standardized name okay and then remove item we don't need this calculate and the name cool that's it y'all let's try it now <clears throat> let's go ahead and add item we're not gonna remove anything we're just gonna add it banana standardized to that and then we can add I even mean, banana again what is it gonna do it won't add it anymore because it already exists right <clears throat> shouldn't it say something uh, else if exist oh yeah it multiply again let's save it again it's supposed to be increasing the quantity wait let me refresh okay it's supposed to increase the quantity because this is what it's saying here all right Existing quantity already, right? We want to add something to it. It's not adding banana, banana. All right, whatever. But yes, let's go ahead and try to remove it. We're gonna use a big banana, it's empty. All right, now it works, guys. Figure it out. And figure out why it's not updating uh, the quantity because over here this is saying if it already exists it should but it's not and so figure out why and that's all y'all thank you for tuning in this is project number five shopping cart peace out y'all